Hello. <sighs> this is my first video. It's me, Robin. Welcome. And um, I decided to do this series of videos to document my weight loss that I'm going to go back to be that I started today and it's a system I'm going to be going through over the next month and I figured that I figured that you know I'm a little animated you know I could tell a jokey joke here and there or whatever and you know make it entertaining and maybe somebody you know can watch 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 me and base and you know look at their own health and do something about it so I was up I was about to go to sleep last um, early this morning and I basically was like why don't I just do some you know I want to do some videos and post it on YouTube and Facebook you know something real you know short and sweet I don't know how long this video is gonna be but you know it's intro but basically maybe post twice a week maybe three times depending on you know how my schedule goes and um, just document the trials and tribulations of trying to lose weight now why am I why am I going through to this detox well basically I've been through a lot over the last month few months you know anybody you know for my friends and family that are, that are going to be watching this I went you know or the people who don't they, they know for the most part what I've been going through but for you new people or people who don't know me that well um, I had a few that I had a couple of deaths in the family over the past month month and a half um, the first one was my grandmother she passed early in September, beginning part of September, and she passed from, um, initially it was colon cancer. And if I knew then what I know now, I would definitely push my grandmother to start eating healthier a few years back. Because, you know, back in 05, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And if she would have changed, I say if a diet change would have happened back then because she was like the queen of frying up some stuff. She was, her fried chicken was known in church and in the neighborhood. And also, um, she could fry the mess out of some fish. So, having fried foods that often, and she just all she used to just eat was like fried chicken. You know, she used to buy it. If she didn't, if she didn't cook it, she was in KFC, picking up or Popeyes, getting some chicken. So, I think you know, as I did research on colon cancer, I saw that a lot of it could have been avoided if you know the diet would have changed now the second death in the family was due to my grandfather on my dad's side and he had Parkinson's disease I'm not really close I wasn't really close with him but for what I take is he had a lot of stuff you know going on with him and Parkinson contribute the Parkinson's that he developed 15 years ago contributed to the problems that caused his death and he has breathing problems and my dad has breathe, has breathing problems he had he suffers from bronchitis he used to suffer from asthma but he doesn't anymore because he has surgery and all that other good stuff to get that fixed so he actually is in the last part about to start the last part of his program his detox program he started his program in towards the end like the third week of September 
and he has to up to date I believe ha has lost about 35 about 35 pounds he his clothes are basically falling off of him and he told me the other day that he has to like go out and buy him a whole new wardrobe because stuff doesn't fit him anymore and he suggested that I get on it and I he bought the he bought the materials and stuff for me to get do the program. Um, what this program consists of basically is the first week I'm straight on detox. I eliminate rice, rice and starch, grain you know starch, dairy, sugar. So. I can't eat two of the two favorite things that I eat all the time for the next three weeks, which is basically cheese and rice. I have a three cup rice cooker that I always use, and I put cheese on everything. So this is going to be this is really going to be kind of tough for me.